And hello everyone, recently I have talked about the latest start in the world of gymnastics. Who have not seen this video, make sure to catch up. In this video, I will talk about the latest events outside of the carpet in the life of gymnasts. What gymnasts do in their free time and what do they write about them in the media. Well, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like it, because the more likes I get, the more new videos are being released. Recently, Alexandra Skubova started defending the honor of Yakutia in Russian and international competitions. She became the winner in the Republican competition. Now Sasha and Marites are in the double standings of both, Yakutia and Moscow. The famous gymnast Oksana Skaldina, the bronze medalist of the Olympic Games, is training the gymnast. They visited not only the competition hall in Yakutia, but also went to see the real reindeer, looked at the Yakutsk Huskies and how they ride in a harness. Now, according to the trainer, Sasha is prepared for the Russian Championship, where she will be selected for the European YAF Championship. Soon, the gymnast will go to the Japan in order for the joint training with the Japanese CF team. So this of change of time zones was actually useful for her professional training. Alexandra Soldatova finally shared the shoots from the production of her recent incredible performance with which she performed in the East Coast Gym. Smile. Whoever doubted, now there is 100% proof that Miguel became her coach. Well, judging by the Instagram, Sasha really liked working with such a person. I really liked their production and let's hope that this is not their last job. On the December 19th, Moscow hosted the annual ball of student sports stars. More than 500 guests from all over the country took part in the celebration with student athletes. The ball was opened by the present, uh, presidential aide, who read out an appeal from the Russian president Vladimir Putin. At the ball, gymnasts were also awarded for victories at the 30th World Summer Universiad held in Naples. Ekaterina Selizhnyova and the Russian national team uh, in group exercises consisting of Alina Aliyeva, Yelena Brozdina, Marina Kozlova, Valeria Rusin and Angelina Ashhatova. By the way, the ceremony was held in the Palace of Rhythmic Gymnastics of Ruina Wiener in Luzhniki. Recently, the newly flared up anti doping scandal was finally commented by Rina Wiener. Who does not know, uh, you can catch up on one of my recent videos where I explain in details about what has happened and whether it was worth. From the latest news on the topic, Russia intends to appeal to the Court of Arbitration of Sports. Irina Alexandrova said that she was not sure, uh, she will be sure that the first class lawyers will be hired to prove that politics should not play any role in sports. By the way, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin on the straight line adhered to the same side, arguing that the decision is connected with politics and Russia will fight for the clean athletes. Well, in conclusion, the most beautiful news. I really love when gymnasts of the Russian national team come to the federal channels and participate in any projects. So on Russia 1 channel, the Bluebird show was made by the world and European champion Lala Kramarenka. Bluebird is an all-Russian country of talented young children. Children who from an early stage uh, age surprised with musicality, a sense of pride and plasticity. Lala went to the finals of the competition and they will be held this year. So we'll follow the starts of Lala and support her. This interesting selection of news happened this time. Write in the comments what do you think about Irina Alexandrovna's worlds about the doping and whether you will follow Lala Kramarenka in the final of the Bluebird. Well, I'll see you really soon and remember that I love you all very much. And for now, goodbye.